When it comes to aviation, few designs capture the imagination quite like canard airplanes. With their distinctive forward-mounted wings, these experimental aircraft have pushed the boundaries of aerodynamics, style, and innovation. From futuristic prototypes to daring home-built creations, canard designs have always stood out as bold attempts to rethink how planes should fly. In this list, we'll explore 15 of the coolest experimental canard airplanes that not only challenged conventional engineering, but also inspired a new way of looking at the skies. Whether you're an aviation enthusiast or just love futuristic machines, these aircraft are guaranteed to leave you amazed. Rutan Long Easy. The Rutan Long Easy remains one of those rare experimental aircraft that feels equal parts daring and elegant. Designed by Bert Rutan and first flown in 1979, it built upon the success of the Variers by stretching the design for longer range and greater comfort. With its canard layout, swept wing, tip rudders, and pusher propeller, the Long Easy offers remarkable efficiency. Cruise speeds of approximately 185 miles per hour, a top speed pushing approximately 220 miles per hour, over 1,200 plus nautical miles of range with 52 gallons of fuel. Flying One is a mix of joy and respect. It rolls eagerly, visibility is excellent, and its stall characteristics are forgiving, thanks to the canard. But it also demands precision. In landing, you must manage energy well, and its home-built nature means quality varies. In short, the Long Easy is a love letter to aviators who want something quirky, efficient, and performance-oriented. Not for the faint of heart, but deeply rewarding if you commit. Gyroflug Speed Canard Flying the Gyroflug Speed Canard is a little like operating a piece of forward-thinking art. Sleek, unconventional, and unexpectedly capable. Born in the early 1980s in Germany, it was the first certified composite canard in its class. Pilots will love its cockpit. Tandem seating under a spacious canopy, borrowed from sailplane designs, great visibility, and a solid feel. The 160 horsepower Lycoming O320 motor gives it punch, cruising around 280 kilometers per hour, climbing at approximately 1,100 feet per minute, while maxing closer to 365 kilometers per hour when pushed. On the flip side, its baggage room and useful load are modest. Landings demand attention, especially managing energy and flare. But get it right, and the speed canard feels agile and smooth. More refined than many home builds, with an identity all its own. Beechcraft Starship The Beechcraft Starship aircraft is one of those rare leaps in aviation that feels more like a concept car than a commuter turboprop. Born in the mid 1980s and designed by Bert Rutan's scaled composites, it pushed the envelope with its all composite airframe, canard layout, pusher turboprop engines, and tip sail vertical fins. In performance terms, it could soar to about 41,000 feet, cruise near 353 miles per hour, and top out around 385 miles per hour at max power. The range was solid too, over 1,500 nautical miles in many configurations. But brilliance came with costs. It was expensive to build and maintain, its sales lagged behind expectations, and only 53 were ever produced before the project ended. Still. The Starship remains a testament to daring engineering. Innovative, beautiful, and ahead of its time. Piaggio P-180 Avanti. The Piaggio P-180 Avanti aircraft is a unique blend of style, speed, and efficiency. An Italian creation that almost feels like it snuck some secrets from the jet world. Its three lifting surface layout, nose canard, main wing, plus tail, reduces drag and moves the main wing aft of the cabin for a more spacious interior feel. Powered by two Pratt & Whitney PT666 B turboprops, Avanti 2 cruises near 593 kilometers per hour and can reach a ceiling of about 41,000 feet. Range is strong. Approximately 1,400 to 1,500 nautical miles, depending on load. Inside, the cabin feels more jet-like than most turboprops. Quiet, about 68 decibels A. Comfortable, with good headroom and stylish finishes. 
On the downside, its exotic design brings complexity. Costs and maintenance tend to be higher. But if you want something distinctive, fast and efficient, the Avanti P180 delivers more than most give it credit for. Rutan Variis The Rutan Variis aircraft is a charming mix of audacity and simplicity. A design born out of Bert Rutan's vision to build something very easy. Its canard layout and composite foam slash fiberglass moldless structure give the Varies not just a distinct look, but real performance. With a 100 horsepower Continental O200 engine, it cruises around 180 miles per hour, climbs at approximately 2,000 feet per minute under light load, and can carry two adults approximately 700 nautical miles. The cockpit is snug, the baggage space minimal, and building one demands precision, especially getting wing twist and incidents right. But when everything is done well, it feels alive in the air. Responsive, efficient, thrilling. For a home build, it strikes a rare balance between performance, economy, and pure flying joy. Rutan Quickie. The Rutan Quickie aircraft is a quirky little masterpiece, made for folks who love flying smart, not big. Designed by Bert Rutan with Gene Sheehan and Tom Jewett, it first flew in 1977 and was sold in kit form. It uses a tandem wing layout, with a forward wing doing a lot of lift, full span control surfaces up front, and the main wing back with the ailerons. The 18 horsepower Onan engine is tiny, but that's the point, low power yet high efficiency. You cruise at about 120 miles per hour, top out near 126 miles per hour, stall low, and enjoy very low fuel burn. Some trade-offs, cockpit's tight, climb rate modest, and handling at low speeds demands respect. But when you want minimalism plus ingenuity in the sky, the quickie delivers. Rutan Defiant. The Rutan Defiant aircraft is a fascinating experiment in mixing safety, simplicity, and innovation. First flown in 1978, this four-seat twin-engine light aircraft was a proof of concept by Bert Rutan to create a twin that handled engine failure much more gracefully. What sets the Defiant apart is its canard layout, push-pull engine configuration, one engine in front, one in back, fixed pitch props, no flaps, and fixed main landing gear. It cruises at about 190 to 210 miles per hour, tops near 214 miles per hour, climbs well with both engines, and still manages acceptable climb if one engine fails. The trade-offs? Cockpit entry is awkward, and some comfort is sacrificed in favor of simplicity and performance. Still, the Defiant feels like what a light twin should have been, safer, efficient, and refreshingly bold. Velocity V-Twin. The Velocity V-Twin aircraft is one of those rare finds that blends real twin engine safety with home-built charm, and it delivers both in a pretty compelling package. Built from composites like its single-engine XL siblings, the V-Twin sports two 160 horsepower Lycoming I, O320 engines in a pusher configuration, and a single central vertical tail. Its cruise speed is about 175 knots true airspeed in an economical setup, with an envelope that supports about 1,400 nautical miles range, a solid cross-country machine. In flight, the V-Twin feels surprisingly composed. Better yaw control than you get from many twins, quieter cabin thanks to engine placement, and decent climb even if one engine fails. QAC Quickie Q2 the QAC Quickie Q2 aircraft feels like a clever thought experiment made real, an ambitious two-seat spin on the original Quickie design that doesn't try to play it safe. Its tandem wing layout, forward canard plus rear wing, keeps drag low, lift well balanced, and the center of gravity nicely managed. Fixed main wheels are embedded into streamlined fairings on the forward wingtips, odd but effective for trimming parasitic drag. Powered by a modest Volkswagen air-cooled engine, approximately 64 horsepower, its performance isn't about raw speed, it's about efficiency, glide, and economy of operation. Handling is quirky. Takeoffs and landings demand respect, and aerodynamics require attention to build quality. But for builders who like something different, the Q2 offers charm, minimalism, and the delight of flying something rare. 
Dickey E-Racer. The Dickey E-Racer aircraft is a striking home-built machine, bold, fast, and unapologetically ambitious. Based on the long, easy layout, it keeps the canard plus mid-wing plus pusher prop architecture, but adds side-by-side -side seats under a bubble canopy and fully retractable gear for a sleeker profile. The Mark I version uses a 240 horsepower Buick V8, auto conversion, plenty of grunt, letting it cruise near 220 miles per hour and top out around 240 miles per hour. It's not without compromises. The takeoff and landing rolls are long, approximately 1,200 to 1,500 feet. And building one takes serious time, approximately 2,000 hours. But in return, you get an aircraft that's exciting, unique, and fast. A home built that demands respect and rewards boldness. Cozy Mark IV. The Cozy Mark IV aircraft is a home built gem for pilots who love long cross country trips with a punch. Its four seat, single engine pusher prop configuration, derived from the long EZ, makes it both roomy and efficient. Powered by a Lycoming O360, it cruises around 200 to 220 miles per hour at higher power settings and manages approximately 185 miles per hour at lighter power. Range is impressive, about 1,000 to 1,300 miles, depending on fuel settings. Building one takes serious commitment, but the result is strong composite construction, excellent stall resistance thanks to the canard layout, and a flying experience that feels both ambitious and deeply satisfying. R.M.T. Baitleur. The R.M.T. Baitleur aircraft is a sleek, modern ultralight slash light sport kit that grabs attention with its delta wing plus canard layout, tandem seating under bubble canopies, and composite build. Weighing in around 250 to 260 kilograms empty, with a max takeoff close to 600 kilograms, it uses Rotax 912 or turbocharged 914 engines. Cruising speeds sit near 140, to 150 KTAS, while stall is down low approximately 35 to 40 KT, making approaches forgiving. Its glass cockpit feel, outstanding visibility, especially for the pilot up front, and strong climb performance, approximately 1,400 to 1,700 feet per minute, impress. Still, being a kit or exotic LSA type, Build quality, maintenance, and regulatory compliance needs serious attention. For someone after something different that blends efficiency, speed, and stylish engineering, the Batalur is a compelling pick. Rutan Voyager The Rutan Voyager aircraft is a masterpiece of determination and design, built for one purpose, to circle the globe without stopping or refueling. Crafted from lightweight composites like fiberglass, carbon fiber, and Kevlar, it could carry an enormous amount of fuel, so much that in flight, fuel made up over 70% of its takeoff weight. Piloted by Dick Rutan and Gianna Yeager in December 1986, it flew for over nine days, covering 26,366 statute miles at an average speed of 116 miles per hour, maintaining altitude around 11,000 feet. The cabin was cramped, cockpit duties intense, fuel management constant, but every hardship mattered because the payoff was extraordinary. Voyager became the first aircraft ever to complete a non-stop, non-refueled flight around the world. The Burkut 360 aircraft is a standout in the home-built canard world, bold, fast, and strikingly refined. It traces its roots to the Rutan Long EZ, but improves on nearly everything. Molded carbon fiber slash fiberglass fuselage, a stretched body for more interior space, retractable landing gear, and dual canopies for excellent visibility. Powered by a Lycoming IO360, approximately 180 horsepower. Though many builders go for the 260 horsepower I0540, it can cruise over 200 miles per hour, climb swiftly, and reach high altitudes. The useful load is roomy, though fuel weight eats into payload on longer trips. Cockpit comfort is good, Controls responsive, but as with most kits, build quality hugely affects final performance. For pilots wanting a sleek, high-speed cross-country canard with flair, the Burkett 360 delivers.